So in today's video, I'll be discussing an important group of members in the Ultraman community, which are the six Ultra Brothers. I'll briefly go through what they represent and their overall history in the Ultraman universe. Welcome back to the Ultra Reviewer, where we discuss all things Ultraman. If you haven't already, do check out my three generations of Ultraman Explained video as well as my character study video on Haruno Musashi, the human host of Ultraman Cosmos. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Cosmo Miracle Theme! The six Ultra Brothers were the first ever Ultraman to be introduced into the franchise. Their members include the original Ultraman, followed by Zofi, who is the eldest, Ultra Seven, who is the father of Ultraman Zero, Ultraman Jack, Ultraman Ace, and finally Ultraman Taro, who is the youngest and the most powerful member. While they are referred to as Ultra Brothers, they are not exactly biological brothers. Some are cousins or uncles, while some consider themselves to be family to brotherhood. It is important to know that the Ultra Brother title is something that is awarded to those Ultras who have proven great feats of heroism and seem to have spent a significant time on Earth, with the exception of Sophie. As of the present day, the six Ultra Brothers represent seniority in the Ultraman universe because of their age and past experience. They have served as mentors to many Ultras, the most notable being Ultraman Mabius, Ultraman Zero, Ultraman Ginga, and even to each other. Currently, Ultraman Taro is a trainer in the Land of Light, thus being a mentor to many young Ultraman and Ultra women. On a side note, this is actually pretty cool. Since Taro was trained by the five older members of the Ultra Brothers, and because of this, it seems that all of their unique and diversified skills have been passed down to the entire Ultra race in the Land of Light. But of course, this is just my personal opinion. Currently, the Ultra Brothers have increased in numbers with the addition of Ultraman 80, Ultraman Leo, Ultraman Astra, Ultraman Mabius, and Ultraman Hikari which makes it a total of 11 members. However, the first six members are still referred to as the Six Ultra Brothers until today. The new members of the Ultra Brothers have also continued the tradition of being mentors, such as Ultraman Leo mentoring Ultraman Zero, Ultraman Mabius training Ultraman Z, and many more. Some Ultras have possessed a few aspects of the Ultra Brothers' abilities, but only few have used all six of their powers in one go. One example would be when the Ultra Brothers merged their physical selves with Ultraman Mabius to form Mabius Infinity. Another is when Ultraman Ginga used the Ultra Bracelet that contained the six Ultra Brothers' powers, as well as when Ultraman Jeet made an Ultra Brother shield. These are some of the very few examples of when all six Ultra Brothers powers have been collectively used. The Ultra Brothers have made multiple appearances together, some of which include the Ultraman Mabius and Ultraman Brothers movie, the six Ultra Brothers vs the Monster Army movie, several times in the Ultraman Taro series and most recently in the New Generation movie. They have made individual appearances as well, as with a handful of other Ultras from different generations. Well, that's it for today guys. I hope you all enjoyed this simple explanation on the 6 Ultra Brothers. Do place any requests you guys have in the comment section 
so that I can continue providing you guys with more amazing content. I'll try out.